Hey, what's going on there, folks? Good morning, uh, good afternoon to a few out there. It is the Earthmaster back here on this Saturday, May 13th, 2023. It's about 11, 12 a.m. here along the West Coast. Uh, still seeing some earthquake activity out here into the Northern California region. Uh, looks like we did have a couple smaller quakes here overnight uh, in the Chester area where we've been seeing a swarm of earthquake activity following the 5.5 and a 5.2 earthquake here within the last couple days. Uh, looks like we did have a 3.1 about 5 o'clock in the morning. So things are still uh, rocking a little bit out here just southeast of Mount Lassen. Uh, look at the total tally of earthquakes so far. Uh, puts us at 64 earthquakes here around the Lake Almanor area. Uh, with a slight migration up north along the fault system here, the uh, Lake Almanor Fault kind of extends up uh, around the Chester area. There's a couple different fault systems around this region. Uh, so continue to watch that. Uh, some slight activity over here on the southern or the uh, northern branch here of the San Andreas Fault. Very small microquake, uh, if I can get that to work. Uh, looks like a 1.5 uh, just a uh, couple hours ago in that area. Uh, down into the southern portion of the state, seeing some slight activity along the creeping segment of the San Andreas Fault and a little offshore activity uh, this morning as well with a 2.1, well off the coast here of Los Angeles. Uh, so a little bit of uptick across the southern portion of the state, including the San, Jac uh, San Jacinto Fault Zone, which is this lengthy fault that runs kind of parallel with the San Andreas Fault, which remains quiet for now. Uh, let's see what else we got. Pacific Northwest, not a whole lot going on. Tremor activity last night was very minimal. Uh, into the Yellowstone area, not a whole lot going on up here, but I do like to check this, make sure that uh, everything's coming in. Uh, because it's a weekend, a lot of times they don't report that activity. Uh, let's see, Maple Creek showing a little bit of seismic activity earlier today, but nothing major going on. Uh, I wanted to pull up the Mount Lassen um, regional seismograph station here and for whatever reason I'm double checking making sure everything's updated I just checked this a little bit ago so I don't think they've updated it since but I was looking at these seismograph stations here and the majority of these seismograph stations are actually from uh, well a couple days ago <clears throat> almost looks like um, prior to the 5.5 earthquake there in Mount Lassen area or Lake Almanor, I should say, all of these seismograph stations um, stopped working, it seems like, around that date. May 11th, see the UTC time over here? And I'm not for sure why this hasn't been uh, looked at. I don't know if it maybe set something off as uh, far as maybe like some type of power failure I don't know but uh, none of these seismograph stations here are working around the area of interest and that includes the Lake Almanor area so I'm not for sure what's going on hopefully they'll get them fixed uh, because I like to keep an eye on what's going on here far as recorded data goes because the area sits just down here to the south let me see if this one's working uh, that one's offline as well So really, you know, really can't tell uh, if there's any uh, other earthquake activity besides the ones that they're reporting. And that's not good. I <laughs> need to have a backup. And unfortunately, that's not uh, looking possible right now. I did pull up the... Let's see what I did with it. Uh, where did it go? Where did it go? Okay, it looks like I may have to go back over here and find it again. I was looking at the GPS stations here across northern california specifically around the mount lassen area and this is mount lassen the volcanic park there's a few seismograph stations up here this one i think we were looking at last night um let's see data products cleaned yeah this this goes into 2023 it seems as though uh, we've had a little uptick in the height here um pretty drastic height um, in the past, uh, looks like past month or so, 
the last uh, looks like the last measurement was on the 510 so that doesn't include the last couple days but looking at this uptrend in height in mm shows a uh, what looks like a fairly drastic um, uptick you notice that notice those dots there indicating some vertical displacement around the mount lassen area but also looks like back in 2016 and also 2009 or 10 we did see something similar that's just one station uh, there is many other stations out here um, let's see here let me check out I wonder if these are working status unavailable now these are just all GPS measurements this shows what looks like some type of uptick as well elevated height on a separate station with uh, outside interference removed that's why it says cleaned um, let me check a little bit further down south with P671 failure <laughs> current status failure um, let's see what we got here and even on this station here it's shown a, what looks like some type of uptrend in height eastward movement declining uh, northward trend declining as well but with vertical displacement which um, I'm gonna have to look into this a little bit more in detail find out what's going on here because all stations are showing what looks like some type of uptick in activity uh, let me check up north here off this highway <coughs> this one here looks a little different it's away from the volcano so see this one here kind of shows what looks like gradual downtrend again this is a little bit uh, off of the volcano itself Mount Lassen and a ways away from the uh, park which sits um, specifically in this area Lassen Peak right here so if this thing were to swell up a little bit it would be around these stations and they are kind of showing what looks like some type of uh, inflation slightly we check out this station position here even on this one showing uptick but again back in 2016 it looks like there was something similar uh, so we can kind of keep an eye on that see how it plays out um, but again that earthquake activity is well I can't really say well south but just about 15 miles or so from Mount Lassen and uh, relatively shallow I do believe it's uh, with water um, displacement there creating uh, some some activity on the faults but we'll continue to watch that all right uh, let's see what else we got across the region here a little bit of movement across texas and also uh into kansas and missouri no major movement though across the new madrid seismic zone the uh, caribbean plate and south america all looks fairly quiet right now so let's see what we have going on here um across the area i'm gonna bring this down <coughs> whoops stand by here for a second had a little bit more than 24 hours on the globe so we want to keep it at that uh, a little bit of activity in the two and three range around the puerto rico area looks like a 2.2 coming in puerto rico slight uptick continuing around the um costa rica and panama area down here as noted on the earthquake 3d globe uh some twos and it looks like a couple fours down here in the south america region but uh only one 4.6 being reported and that's from yesterday uh, but as you can see on the globe here still kind of continuing there along the peru chile trench deeper movement quakes around fiji again let's see what we got latest one shows a 4.3 562 kilometers deep there into the tonga trench a little bit of activity along the kermadec trench as well from last night uh new zealand looks like they were seeing a little bit of activity earlier this morning make sure i got the most recent updated earthquake drums here most of the activity looks like it is confined uh, around the north island area i uh, see a little bit of earthquake activity here associated with this seismograph station uh, let me check out the volcanic drums here real quick 
about the same. So far as earthquakes go on the map, uh, just a little slight activity here across the um, uh, near the Hawks Bay. It looks like just south of there in this little cluster. We've kind of been seeing that for oh the past couple weeks or so. A uh, little ongoing event around this area. Mostly twos and some threes kicking off there uh, today and yesterday. Big Island of Hawaii. Well, let's check and see what's going on here. Kilauea Volcano still showing some activity here with the 2.0, the latest quake there in the region. Also, Pahala showing some activity. As uh, far as any updated information there on Kilauea Volcano, well, let's check it out. They don't have it. Looks like that's from yesterday, and it still stated that uh, everything was calm and green. Well, not green, but uh, still with the earthquake swarm, there's no uh, eruption yet. Uh, no active lava has been observed since March 7th. Still earthquake activity there ongoing underneath that volcano. Around the Philippine plate here, did have a 5.2 on the uh, Philippine trench here. 78 kilometers deep also some uh, activity it looks like prior to that 4.9 within that same region now the earthquake 3d program here shows a little bit of movement south into the indonesia area also what uh well it looks like we have 4.6 into the java trench not uh showing up here but that is showing up on the uh, earthquake 3d globe the emsc model <coughs> Uh, let's see what else we got 3.0 coming into the area of Turkey for an aftershock activity it looks like and also a 4.5 see where this is at um, see if that's gonna kick up the uh, Iran Iraq border 10 kilometers deep from earlier uh, not for certain if USGS is reporting that uh, looks like they are that one coming in about seven o'clock this morning there for that 4.5. Atlantic Ocean, uh, nothing going on across this area for now. And it looks pretty clear here on the EMSC model as well. So just a little uh, little scattered activity today. Pretty much spread out all over the place here on the globe. As um, far as any regions to watch, as um, far as uptick goes, uh, take your pick. There's quite a few areas here today of somewhat elevated activity. Still watching the West Coast here. Uh, that includes California. Uh, we did see uh, some earthquake activity here prior to the plate boundary indicating some stress. The plate boundary, of course, there in the dark red line, the San Andreas Fault, did, did get a little bit of movement down into the Gulf of California yesterday, but it looks like things have kind of mellowed out there today. Space weather activity. We'll go check this out here real quick, see if we got anything going on. Noteworthy to chat about. Um... Doesn't look like we got any major solar flares overnight. Couple C flares popping off. Here's a UV filter showing a little bit of flaring kicking off currently. Um, hold on a second here. This one looks old. Five thirteen zero one UTC time. Right now it's five thirteen eighteen hundred. Uh, so this is really old, almost 24 hours old. I'm not for sure what's going on with that, but uh, definitely not uh, an updated image there. Uh, this one was put out. This one kind of looks old too, so I'm not for sure what's going on with the uh, solar ham site, but it looks like it's getting a little bit of... Uh, older data being reported there here's a current uh, space weather prediction center here showing the flaring activity uh, not not a whole lot going on just some sea flare activity uh, three-day geomagnetic forecast looks um, well in text form it's fairly quiet I'm not for sure what's going on with that uh, site. Let me go back here and check. I'm not 
for sure if they're updating this or not because even this image here looks a little bit older uh, and there wasn't really too much activity here popping off yet but uh, we'll check it out here see if these guys are having any issues uh, do, 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 current solar wind speed very low density low as well interplanetary magnetic field uh, fairly stable for the most part aurora forecast doesn't look uh, too high right now and that's just because there's not a whole lot coming in um, to the area so we'll just kind of check on that and see uh, see what it see what it comes up here later on. I don't think we're looking at any major solar flare activity currently, as far as the forecast goes. All right, uh, let's look at the the uh, weather storm prediction center. See what's going on today for the weather activity. Looks like uh, a little bit quieter here across portions of Nebraska and Kansas today, after a fairly eventful day yesterday. Slight risk category up into Iowa, and uh, it looks like portions of Illinois as well, with a 5% chance of a tornado risk there in the eh, kind of brownish color box, 5%. Uh, Cedar Rapids area getting in on that action as well. Most of the uh, hail threat is going to be up north as well today. And for tomorrow's event, uh, day two. Well, quite a bit of thunderstorm activity in general, but nothing majorly set up for severe weather. But either way, some rain in some uh, much needed areas. Thunderstorm outlook for today, 40% chance across a good area of the Four Corners region and Eastern Texas getting in on quite a bit of rain as well. All right, folks, um, I'm going to jump off here. It's supposed to be 98 degrees today. It's already 89 degrees, and um, it's not even noon yet here along the West Coast. It's actually just 1130, 89 degrees. Goodness. So I think today is going to be a pool day. Get out uh, and enjoy some cooler water in this heat. It's supposed to be hovering in the upper 90s here all week. Maybe I might reach even a hundred. Have a good one, folks. We will catch you guys back out here later tonight. Take care.